Not many people know who Curious Light really is, but today I have cracked the code of who they actually used to be. For those who doesn't know who Curious Light is, it is one of the three celestials indoors that only appears in subfloors such as the rooms and backdoors. Its purpose is to help you escape the subfloor. But what is their backstory? Believe it or not, I've found the answer to that question. Either eyes that Curious Light used to be a scientist. Now hear me out, I have a few reasons to back up my theory. Firstly, you can find potions in one of the subfloors, I guarantee you would find at least one potion if you make it to the end of a subfloor. Those potions have a star in them which is shaped like the exact star Curious Light represents. Where did those potions come from? Well Curious Light created them from their past experiences as a scientist, knowing that scientists still do make potions. Speaking of scientists, whenever a scientist does a research, why do they do it? What are they feeling whenever they want to find out something? They feel curious about their research. Does that sound familiar to you? The name Curious Light didn't just come out of nowhere, a spirit of a curious scientist had somehow transformed into a light. Now to my final reason. You see, whenever you go into the entry of the rooms with a reasonable amount of modifiers, you come across a painting with all three lights in them, guiding, curious, and mischievous light. Guiding light is more of an angelic light, guiding us to escape this madness, whereas mischievous light is more demonic, stopping us from escaping. In the painting, you see guiding and mischievous light facing opposite directions. It's like an angel and a demon away from each other, but why is curious light in between them? The answer that makes the most sense is because they are an atheist. For people who doesn't know what an atheist is, they are people who don't believe in God, nor the devil. And Curious Light is one of those people, from the way he acts, he doesn't want to help us escape, neither does he want to harm us. So Curious Light is an atheist like most scientists. Now obviously, just because someone is an atheist, it doesn't mean they are scientists. But we gathered other clues that make Curious Light a scientist so the final clue is they are an atheist just like other scientists. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and comment down below your theories.